but he's got to look out for a triangle. The triangle choke is a classic move from Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And even though it's not seen that often in the UFC, it's pretty awesome to watch. So who's done it the best? Oliveira holds the record for the most submissions in the UFC. And it's pretty clear why. Look at this, Oliveira with the triangle choke. That's very tight now. Oh, oh, oh. That's oh, it. the tap. Charles Oliveira get another submission win inside the octagon. It was locked in tight, so Nate Diaz knew it was all over. If Nate Diaz gets that right leg off, he's got it. He oh, it down. Down. Everyone knows Tony Ferguson has an unorthodox style. Got the arm on the outside, but he's going to pull the head. Let's see if Kevin can survive this. If Tony, it's Tony better if the arm, arm is across. Oh, that's it. That's it. Tony he Ferguson. Went out. He went out. Tony Ferguson is the UFC interim lightweight champion of the world. And there's no prizes for guessing why Brian Ortega is called T City. Gracie Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. That says it all. Look at this. Finish Look at this. Right here. Looking for the win. He's moving to the mouth. Can he he's lock it in? A here. He's only got one arm in play. Yeah, he goes out for now at least. But he's going to go to an arm bar. He's going to go to a triangle. Look at look how active he is. It's beautiful. He tapped. He tapped. all over. Beautiful. Giant Ortega by submission. That is just so beautiful to see. And my favorite triangle choke by unanimous decision, I'd have to say the spider pulling it out of the fire. Chael Sonnen believes he is five minutes away of being a world champion. Watch triangle, watch out, triangle! This is trouble! This is trouble! Can he choke out Chael Sonnen? Jason Anderson's in big trouble. Chael's got his legs. He's got his legs across. That's what's... He's tapping in, 